Hello, I'm Steve with Touch the Master's Hand, Holy Spirit Ministries. I want to just wish you all a happy Thanksgiving. You know, that Jesus is the reason for this season and for Christmas season. may not be politically correct. That's okay. I don't really care. Uh, Jesus at the center. Just look at some of my other YouTube videos. Pretty awesome. It's not anything about me. It's just the content. Sorry for the poor quality of the videos. I'm working on that next week. going to try to get somebody to help me enhance it. Kind of computer illiterate. Um, but anyhow, there's so many things to be thankful for, for, thankful for, for God and for Jesus. I thank Him for all the spiritual gifts that He's given me and knowledge and truth of who He really is. And being a son of His, equal with Jesus, not being able to give people in, in, the inheritance of eternal life. But as far as all the other power, as far as all the other discernment, as far as the Holy Spirit, being filled with the Holy Spirit, awesome. You know, I got an awesome message about God's image of you. You want a copy of it? I'll mail it to you. I won't keep your information. I won't send you a bunch of junk. I won't send you anything but that. You get a copy of a free book that the Lord inspired me to write about visions. That's in there. I'm very thankful for all the visions that the Lord gave me. You know, He cares about the details in our life, even the littlest things. You know, years ago, 1984, sitting in front of a church, and this big bus whizzed by. And I saw this preacher, or an evangelist, on the side, picture of him on the side of the bus. And underneath him was this was a, was a scripture that I guess he was standing on a part of his ministry. So I asked the Lord, I said, well, Lord, I said, you know, you give me a ministry for the poor and the brokenhearted and the drug addicts and just the, the needy people that the church, that have nothing to give to the church and are just in need. And so give me a scripture that goes along with that. Isaiah 25 and 4 is what he told me. And that's part of, you know, reason about touch of the Master's hand. That's why I put that scripture up there. It's very important. It didn't come to fruition for years. It just recently came to fruition because of my prodigal son experience. The Lord knew that I was going to have to go through that. And it was years, a lot of years, that I was a prodigal son. So I like to tell people I was saved twice. My, part of my testimony is in there about my first salvation. Then my second salvation is in, written in the book. So, you know, if you want to want to get that free copy, no problem. Just, you know, it's on in, in my other YouTube. Just look up free copy of the book. Just pretty awesome. So, Jesus cared about that detail. How it came to fruition recently is through the visions and through a homeless ministry. What happened was my wife was in prayer one day. She goes would go to prayer all the time, early in the morning. My prayer time was seven to nine. My wife would go to prayer. This lady asked her to pray for her. Turned out she was a director of a homeless shelter here in Dallas. Led to my wife speaking to a group of women, 35 women. Led to us going to the chat. They call it the chapel. I really don't like the word chapel, but the church. Nice building. And... We met with the pastor, and he invited us to, to come to, to help lead a revival there. turned out that we ended up being able to speak. For, in the very first Sunday night we spoke, the new pastor that took over came and liked my wife so much that she said, go for it. Gave us the whole Sunday night service. We Nobody tells us what to preach on. We just pray about it. Awesome messages come forth. Our, you know, group of people, usually new group of people, we get to interject Jesus, accepting Jesus into your heart. That's my main focus of my message. Just awesome. Really awesome. Another detail that he cared about is a lot of times he'll wake me up 2, 3 in the morning, 4 in the morning, early in the morning. Well, my prayer prayer room is out of my living room. And I sit in this chair. I look at this window across, across, across the room. And... The frame of the windows makes a shadow of a cross in these mini blinds that we have. Awesome to me, sitting under the shadow of the cross. It's symbolic, but it's still awesome to me. There's so many things to be thankful for. Family, friends, you know, we overeat, food, just, you know, so many miracles. And they don't always have to be financial. Some of them can just be in the realm of healing for our families, deliverance for our families, setting people free, getting our kids to to love Jesus, to accept Jesus into their heart. Just so many, so many things to be thankful in this country. It's just awesome. Anyhow, that's kind of my, sort of my take on Thanksgiving. I'm very thankful. Thankful for y'all. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Uh, comment, 
put it on Facebook, whatever, you know, share the comments, share it with anybody that you want to, to help me spread this message. It's not about me, it's just about the message. Get a copy of the free book, which is awesome. It's all about visions, and it's, 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 it's seeing into the spiritual realm. Just, we're living in an awesome time. Grace dispensation, greatest time for the church. Very thankful, just awesome thankful mostly for the spiritual gifts that the lord's given me about his about the knowledge of him and about being a son so i thank you for tuning in god bless you have a wonderful thanksgiving have an awesome christmas thanks god bless you bye-bye